All right, so I just got a package in the mail, and when I opened the box, I noticed that the color seemed to be all wrong. So let's open it up and see if Horizon is just toying with me or if I need to give them a call and get the red and white one. All right. Stand by and we'll check it out. Okay, so it turns out that I did indeed get the plane that I wanted. Thank God, because I probably would have been pretty upset. I'm really not a fan of that Air Force colored one. Almost looks like the Habu speckled and I really don't like that look very much. So I am happy to say that this is the one that I ordered. And let's have a look. Alright, so in here we've got the main fuse with the prop on it. And it looks like it says remove before flight on there. Okay. Yeah, that might affect the prop balance just a little bit. And we've got some landing gear in here, it looks like. Yep, yes we do. And we've got the main wing here. And it looks like we're probably going to need to take the stuff out to see where everything else is at. Because I'm guessing it's tucked in underneath. So, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back with you. While I was unpacking this, I noticed two things. One, I really liked. There's a spare prop in here. The second, I don't like, is the way that they have the horizontal stabilizer tucked in underneath there. It doesn't look like it's going to come out very easily. It should be okay, but I also don't like how the masking taped to the actual control or the surface of the wing. I don't like that. Should be okay, still annoying, and shouldn't be that way in my humble opinion. Alright, so here is an overview of what we're looking at right here. With the addition of the Ultra Micro, just to give you an idea of the size difference between this machine and this one. Now, I'm used to this one, the little one, which came out a couple years after this one did. This one came out, I believe, in 2009, 2010. But this is what I know, and this is what I've been flying for the last year or so. So, and I fell in love with it, which is why I thought that this big one would be a nice step up. And with the addition of landing gear, it'll be like my Wildcat, only with landing gear essentially is what I'm thinking. And from what I understand, that it easily holds the larger battery just fine. So I'll be flying with a 2200 milliwatt amp hour battery and should be a lot of fun. Alright, so now all I have left to do is to put this together so you guys can see the finished product and then we can do the maiden flight and then see how it flies. Stay tuned for that because that's going to be coming at the end of this video. So far this seems to be a really easy build. All that I had to do was put this wing on and slide the, the servo wires through the fuse to the hole which wasn't super easy but it definitely was not hard to do especially if you've got any experience working on planes at all all that remains now is for me to screw this screw in that hole to secure the main wing to the fuselage next up on the agenda is installing the landing gear which I'll actually demonstrate because it is quite simple. So what we do is we grab the landing gear, find this point that sticks down, stick it in the hole, twist it, make sure we have that down in there far enough, and then we just pop it right in. So that is what it looks like when the landing gear is installed. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the canopy and landing gear installed. 
Next, I'm going to put on the horizontal stabilizer and then install the receiver and we should be all set and ready to go. Alright, this is what it looks like when everything is installed and ready to go. All that I have left remaining is to put in the receiver and trim it and the rest is, is taken care of as you can see. The next footage that you'll be seeing will be me out at the field and I will be mating this and I'm very excited for that. In fact, I cannot wait. Yes, I said that. I cannot wait. Just don't fly behind us. Tricks on a maiden? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm moving up in the world a little bit. Want to practice the landing? Bring it in. Tip, cut the throttle, otherwise you're going to go too fast. From the right? Land from the right. Take your throttle all the way to idle and make the turn. All the way down. 
Uh, just ignore them. Yeah, too fast. Stay out there a little further. Mm -hmm. Stay out a little further. Don't go any higher. I'll cut it all the way to idle and make a big turn coming towards the field and keep coming down low. Let's bring it down low and let's hold it off. It'll stick. There you go. See? Perfect. 